the judge. This is the story of Davina Love Jeff. And what she says gets him up out of his seat and running to the Chevy Blazer. Yeah, I was going to say that last name, Hewitt. Mm, that sounds like... familiar, right? <laughs> mm hmm. Now, he's working with SBI now, and his friend is about a two and a half hour window. Who's a nice, clean boy? Clean and handsome. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another vlog. I feel like every vlog I start out nowadays, I am looking like a freaking hot mess. But that's just real life. I was just grooming my little boy over here. <laughs> He sheds like crazy. He is a beagle, pit, and bulldog mix. And his fur is short, obviously, but it's super, super soft. And I have dog hair just everywhere all the time. I got this fur blaster brush on Amazon, not sponsored at all. My friend actually had recommended this to me and it is a game changer. I will link it in the description if you have a dog that sheds a lot too. It just works so well. It grabs so much of the fur. I was brushing him for about 30 minutes and a lot came off. This was only my second time using it and I need to be consistent. I think it says you're supposed to brush them like two to three times a week at least in order to like keep up with the shedding. And then I gave him a bath, cleaned his ears and all that good stuff. He got his nails cut a week ago or something like that. So he's all good and taken care of, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to start a new vlog. As you guys know, I started working part-time in a salon and today I have the day off. So I wanted to take advantage of it and just get caught up on cleaning and like house chores and stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. I know it's like super popular now, but if you haven't tried it yet, highly recommend. I will use this anywhere that has any kind of stains and like to clean the sink and stuff and then this stuff i get at target this is the apple cider scent and it smells so so good so i'll just use this everywhere else I'm trying to get like the fall vibes going in my apartment Sure. That's like when my ex was trying to convince me that like this girl was lying. Are you excited? You gonna go make some new friends? Good afternoon. I completely deep cleaned my entire apartment yesterday and it felt so good. Sleeping in clean sheets and then waking up to a completely clean apartment is one of the best feelings ever. And then I spent the morning just getting some computer work done. I had to edit the podcast episode that went up today. I took Benny, as you saw, I took him to a doggy daycare. I had been meaning to get him signed up since I moved here, like almost nine months ago, 
but finally got around to it especially now that i got a job where i'll be working out of the house i wanted to get him registered somewhere on the days when i'm going to be working long hours so that i don't have to leave him here alone all day but i really like that place it's really big they have webcams in every single room so you can go in 24 7 and check in and you know see how your dog is doing and they have staff that's there 24 7 and they do daytime daycare and then also overnight boarding and i like it because it's all like free roaming she said that they feed them in kennels so that they are you know separate and not trying to eat each other's food but they never like leave them in a crate so they get to just play all the time so he had to do a temperament test first because they have to obviously make sure every dog there is like super well behaved isn't aggressive etc etc and they have people like in every single room constantly watching them so i feel really good about it um it was like the best reviewed place in this area but it's really weird like coming back to my apartment because i left him there he gets his first day free so he passed his temperament test of course and he's gonna hang out there for the rest of the day and just like have fun but it was weird coming back to my apartment and him not being here but i stopped in my mailbox on the way back and i got some new jewelry pieces from anna luisa and they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog so thank you so much anna luisa i have been working with them as most of you guys know for like two years now i love them majority of the jewelry that i wear on a daily basis is all from anna luisa certain pieces of jewelry like my earrings and my bracelets if you've ever noticed i always have bracelets on i never take them off so i need high quality jewelry that i can shower in and just like keep on all the time and it's not going to tarnish or turn my skin green and that's why i love anna luisa jewelry and they have a variety of pieces some things are a lot more dainty if you're into that i normally like more dainty pieces that then i can like layer and stack but they also do have some more like bold pieces and i love that all of their pieces come in these little pouches so i always keep these and then whenever i'm traveling i will put my jewelry in these first i got a pair of stud earrings which these are so delicate and cute i actually want to replace these little like faux diamonds these are the earrings that i got when i got my ears pierced i don't know i don't really love the diamondy look i want to just like plain gold so i'm gonna put those in my third hole here and then i got this body chain oh i'm so excited about this if i'm going out at night and just wearing like a plain simple dress or something i thought this would be so beautiful or even with a bathing suit and then i got this bracelet to add to my stack i wanted something a little bit more bold oh that's like a perfect fit and these other small bracelets are from anna luisa as well this one people always ask me my mom gave this to me she got it in italy like when she was younger than I am now. But the other ones are Anna Luisa as well. And now we can add to the stack. Let's switch out these earrings too while we're at it. So cute. These little huggies are from Anna Luisa as well. That's how that would look, which I think, I don't really love it with like this tank top, but if I had, especially like a low plunging top or dress or something, or like I said, a bathing suit, so cute in addition to their jewelry being really high quality they're also sustainable and affordable their jewelry starts at 39 dollars, and i have a discount code that will get you 10 percent off your order the code is sambay10 so i will have a link with that code down in the description make sure you go check that out but i have about a half hour before i need to leave because i have an eyelash appointment very excited i used to get extensions back in the day religiously like for years and then a year ago or so i stopped because i just wanted to take a little bit of a break having to go and get fills every few weeks it's just really time consuming and it gets super expensive but recently i was kind of like mm, i want to maybe get them again and just kind of see how i feel and now that i started working at a salon again it's just easier 
when you have lash extensions because then you don't have to like put on as much makeup and you just already like wake up looking like kind of dolled up. So I think it'll be really helpful to have them, especially on the days when I have to work really early. It'll save me a little time getting ready in the mornings. Here's the before of my lashes, nothing on them. And you wanna make sure when you go to get lash extensions that your face is nice and clean, of course, so you don't have any makeup on. So yeah, there's the before, and I will show you the after. So I tried something a little bit different than what I've done in the past. So she did like a wet mascara look, and the girl who did them was super sweet. Her name's Joy, and it was so funny. When I booked my appointment, I went and followed her Instagram page, and then she immediately DM'd me and said that she used to watch my videos back when she was in cosmetology school. So it's just so crazy, like what a small world. And she's originally from up north too, but she moved down here a couple years ago. But yeah, it's just so funny because I just found her on Instagram. I just searched like Wilmington, North Carolina lashes, I think. Like I searched the hashtags and I found her page because her work looked really good. And it's just so funny and cool that she knew who I was. I'll put a link to her website in the description if you guys also live in the same area as me and you want a good place to go get your lashes done. She does like super customizable sets, which I think is really cool. But now I am going to tint my eyebrows because they are looking pretty light. And especially now that I have these dark lashes, in comparison it looks like I have no eyebrows from a distance I feel like so I'm doing my usual thing my henna tint from Elibana I'll put a link to this in the description you literally just mix it with water apply it to your brows let it sit for 30 minutes wipe it off it's super easy I use the shade natural brown I do this like every six weeks or so I would say And it looks really insane while it's processing. But once I wipe it off, they look amazing and just so natural. I was doing a little editing on my computer. My laptop is still busted. It's been like that for over a month now. But I just had like so much work that I needed to get done and I don't have a backup computer. I was trying to just still use it in the meantime. Luckily, I do have insurance. So I'm going to bring it to get fixed, but I'm pretty sure with an issue like this, they have to send it out and I don't know how long it's going to take. They probably are just going to have to replace the screen. So I didn't know how long I was going to be without a computer for, so I kept kind of putting it off. But I have one last video on here that I want to edit. So I'm trying to get that done tonight, upload it, so then that way tomorrow I can finally drop my computer off. I'm going up to Pennsylvania this Saturday. It's my dad's birthday and also one of my best friends that lives on the West Coast, who I have not seen in over five years, is coming back home to visit for her engagement party. And I have to go to see her, obviously. So yeah, I'm going back up to my hometown for a week. And that's kind of why I'm doing all this stuff tonight because then tomorrow I have to go work at the salon. Ooh, I'm like, lighting and then the next day is saturday which is when i'm leaving so today was kind of the day to get all of these like last minute things done and i'm super excited because tomorrow i'm actually getting my hair cut at the salon once my shift is over i made an appointment with one of the girls there it's the same girl who did my hair back in like eight or whenever that was when I had it lightened. I love the way she cut my hair, so she's gonna do it for me again tomorrow. I will try to vlog some of that. I'm just getting a trim, nothing crazy or anything different, but I just love the way that she like does my layers and everything. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to editing that video. I will be back when it's time to wipe off these brows and I'll show you the final product. There we go. Good morning. I have to go work at the salon today. And I'm currently running around like a crazy person because I woke up on time, but I just was so tired when I woke up that I was like a zombie moving in slow motion. And then a little while ago, I realized like, oh crap, I uh, need to leave like in 10 minutes. It's nice though that my lashes and brows are done, so I wanted to show you guys how fast it's gonna be to get ready in the mornings. So I'm just putting 
some sunscreen on. I'm just gonna put a little bit of under eye concealer. This is the Tarte CC under eye corrector. Just tap this under my eyes to brighten. And this alone makes such a huge difference. I feel like even if I don't do anything else to my face, but as long as I just like brighten the under eyes, that's what takes me from like looking like a zombie to looking awake and alive. And then I take a little bit of liquid blush. This is from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Bliss. Note to self. I have a Sephora gift card and they sent me a coupon and I was kind of holding off because I wasn't sure what I wanted to get or like what I needed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get another one of these blushes in a darker color because this is like a little bit better for me in the winter time, but it works just to add like a little bit of color to my cheeks and then literally that's it. I brushed through my lashes already. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of lip gloss in the car, but two products, less than two minutes. I threw a breakfast sandwich in the microwave. So I'm just gonna grab that and bring it with me. I have some baby carrots left, so I'm just gonna bring that whole bag and then I have these little like bunchable things so I'm going to that and then we should be good I just have to take Benny out to use the bathroom really quick and then I'm gonna head out of here I will vlog a little bit when I'm at the salon Hello, it's a few hours later. Well, many hours later, I should say. I got my hair cut. I mean, you can't really notice a big difference. I honestly just asked for a little bit of a trim and for her to just like clean up my layers. The one thing that I do ask for is when I pull my hair all forward, that it be like cut super blunt this way. And I don't like too many layers because the more layers you have in your hair, then the ends are gonna get a little bit thinner. And I like my ends to be cut really nice and blunt so that it makes my hair look fuller. So the layers are nice for like adding body throughout, especially if you have curly hair or if you like to add waves or do any kind of, you know, add any kind of texture to your hair. But the more blunt it is at the bottom, the fuller it's gonna look. So if you wanted a similar haircut to mine, I would just say that you want it to be cut bluntly from the front and then long layers throughout and then face frame in the front. And sometimes I do my face frame pieces a little bit shorter than this. In the past I've had them more as like long curtain bangs if you want to be able to do more of like a little swooshy kind of thing in the front, but Lately, I've just been kind of letting it grow out. So my face frame now starts like right at my collarbone. And I just asked for her to blow it out. It did start to get a tiny bit frizzy because it's insanely humid outside. It was raining earlier today. I have naturally curly hair too. So like there's just no hope with the humidity the way it is right now. And it just feels like so much healthier. But right now I am packing. I can't remember if I mentioned it already or not. Oh yeah, I think I did. I am going away for the week. I'm going up to Pennsylvania and honestly I'm contemplating. I was looking at what the traffic is supposed to be like and I was originally planning on just leaving tomorrow but I'm kind of feeling like I might want to just leave tonight. It's a 9 to 10 hour drive and my phone is telling me that if I were to leave tonight, it'll be 9 hours, but if I wait till tomorrow, it'll be 
a little over 10 and I feel like it always ends up taking longer than what it says so I kind of feel like it'll suck having to drive like super late at night because if I leave tonight I I'm gonna literally be driving like all through the night which kind of sucks, but it'll be kind of nice if there's no traffic. I kind of would rather there be no cars on the road than if I leave tomorrow and then be sitting in traffic and like literally wasting the entire day, like wasting a whole Saturday just driving, you know? I wanted to show you this new bag. I have been wanting this for a while and I finally just broke down and got it recently. This is the base um, weekender bag, but how cool that it just like opens up like this so it makes it super easy to pack and it has all these compartments on the inside a little laptop sleeve and everything and then it has this hard compartment on the bottom that has a waterproof lining so you can put shoes or dirty clothes or anything that might spill in the bottom super cool so this is gonna be my first time using it and I'm very excited and I honestly normally when I am gonna be going away for a trip I will pack my stuff ahead of time or I'll kind of like pre-plan what I want to bring but because I was originally planning on leaving tomorrow I didn't do that this time so I literally was just grabbing stuff out of my closet and hoping for the best I don't know I'm gonna see if I can fit all of this stuff in there wish me luck it is filled to the brim and insanely heavy but I made it work and the straps are like such nice quality and they're like nice and thick so even though this is heavy as all hell it's not like digging into my shoulder which is nice and it has the long strap too otherwise i am just gonna go around and pack up some more last minute things you know i need to make sure i got all of benny's stuff so i'm gonna be up there for a week then my mom is gonna come back down with me she's gonna stay with me for a week because it's gonna be the week of her birthday so she's gonna be here and then she's gonna fly back home from here so I am gonna take these next two weeks to just be with family just enjoy my time with them I will see you in two weeks hello I am back it's only been a few seconds for you, but it's been a little over two weeks for me. I got my laptop fixed. Today, I really wanted to just like get my life in order because since I got back here with my mom, you know, I've just been out doing stuff with her and I just wanted to do a little bit of cleaning. I have a bunch of laundry to do. I have to unpack my bag from my trip because I'll be working this week and then this coming weekend I'm going away for another trip um, with all of the girls from my new job so that'll be really fun but I just I feel like I'm gonna be really busy and have a lot going on this week so today is like my day to just get everything in order but I wanted to decorate for fall because it's still like in the 90s here so it doesn't really feel like fall but um, it's technically going to be fall in like a week or two. And I feel like this time of year always goes by so fast. So I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. I love Halloween. So I want to get all my decor out while I can. And plus, last year I moved into this apartment at the beginning of December. So I didn't end up decorating at all. Totally missed out on this time of year, which was a bummer. So this year I definitely want to take advantage have this cute pillow some pumpkins on it that's from home goods then I got these cute wicker pumpkins from at home which I literally bought them last year and like I said I didn't end up decorating so they still have the tags on them and everything this pumpkin patch sign this was from home goods this little fall sweet fall sign this was from Michaels I believe little pumpkin sign this was from home goods i have this leaf garland that i believe was from michael's this little faux leaf arrangement from ikea oh no 
I have this pumpkin that lights up. This was from Home Goods. It got a little bit cracked, but overall, it's still okay. I have this little pumpkin thing that I'll probably hang on my front door. And then I had another big ceramic pumpkin. Oh wait, actually no, these are both from Target. But this one is completely destroyed, which is pretty sad. This garland, I think I'm just gonna put in front of the TV over here. I put this big pumpkin over here and I just kind of tucked my essential oil diffuser behind the TV so that you can't see it because it was like way too cluttered with that there. And then I took down the picture frame that I normally have up there and put that little pumpkin sign instead. I put this little ceramic pumpkin on the coffee table. Got my pumpkin pillow over there. In the kitchen, I have this little faux snake plant, so I think I'm just gonna replace it with the leaves. With my little fall dish towels. These are both from Kohl's. I think this little pumpkin I'll put here. This pumpkin, yeah, that's cute. And then this sign, I wasn't really sure where to put it, so I just have it kind of resting on top of my mirror there. I'm gonna light some candles. This one is Harvest Gathering from Bath and Body Works. And then this one is White Pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. Oh, and I almost forgot to put out my fall hand soap. Got Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Also from Bath and Body Works. It's a few hours later. I got everything all clean and straightened up. The bedroom is looking a lot better as well. I did a bunch of laundry. Um, I just have one last load in the dryer right now. And I am about to start making dinner. I was really in the mood for like some comfort food. So I'm gonna make some Italian sausage with ravioli tonight. So I just got some mild Italian sausage and I'll just use whatever like pasta sauce I have on hand. Usually if I'm doing this, I'll just make my own sauce. But honestly, if you wanna just keep it simple, you can just use pasta sauce out of a jar. This is olive oil and garlic flavor. Um, and I already had this opened in my fridge, so I'm just gonna use this. And then I'm gonna add a couple sausage links just straight into the sauce literally just drop it in there and then just put the lid on and i'm gonna put that on like medium high until it starts to get a little bit of a boil going and then from there i'm gonna turn it down to low and just let it cook covered like that for at least 30 minutes. The longer you leave it, the more flavor it's gonna get, obviously, but I am telling you, it's so easy, and the flavor from the sausage will cook into the sauce, no matter what kind of sauce you use. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, that one was like olive oil and garlic, I think, but any kind that you wanna use, or like I said, if you wanna make your own, it'll just get so flavorful from the sausage, and, it's so good and so easy because you don't really have to do anything. And then I just got some cheese ravioli. It's like stupidly simple, but I made this one time at my friend's house. She had a bunch of people over and everybody was like, oh my God, this sauce is so good. How do you make it? What's the recipe? And I was like, literally just get some Italian sausage, dump it in some sauce and cook it like it's that easy while that's cooking though i am gonna hop in the shower and i got some new hair products that i want to try out with you guys so i'll see you in a bit Okay, I am about to blow dry my hair. I've just been letting it air dry. So at this point, I would say it's like 
80% dry or so and these are the two products that I got when I got my hair cut earlier in this vlog these were the two products that she used to style my hair with and my hair felt really nice it smelled really good so they're both by the brand Lanza and this is the healing volume root effects mousse and the keratin healing oil bounce up spray so this has to spray it directly at your roots so it's not like a typical mousse that you would use to like style your hair with or like make your curls more defined so it's just spray it at the roots on damp hair <laughs> and this says to just spray it all over your hair and it's a thermal spray so it'll protect against heat and also add volume so i'm just gonna blow dry like i normally would i use this olivia garden ceramic round brush this is the nt64 put a link in the description i really love this round brush it has a lot of hair in it don't mind that and then my dyson professional blow dryer and i always use the concentrator on it One little tip if you're trying to get maximum volume is to take the top section of your hair and just brush it all up and forward. Put the round brush behind the hair and then pull it like up and forward. Those products, 10 out of 10, love them. And I can feel like it added a little bit of like texture and grit to my hair that really is like giving it a lot of volume. Oh my God, I love that. So yeah, again, it's the Lanza Keratin Healing Oil Bounce Up Spray and the Healing Volume Root Effects Mousse, which I feel like if you're on like a tighter budget and you can only afford to get one of them, I would say get this one. This is like amazing. Good morning. I am working at the salon today and today actually is like my first official day I've been working there already for the last several weeks but I was still technically training and shadowing I wasn't like fully doing the job on my own but today I'm gonna be there by myself which will be interesting it should be fine I have to check the schedule and see how busy it's supposed to be today luckily this time of year like school just started you know so it tends to slow down a little bit in salons so hopefully it won't be too crazy busy and it won't be too overwhelming and hopefully i will remember everything that i'm supposed to do but anyway i don't have to be there till three i am closing tonight so i have a few hours and i'm going to film a video. It's gonna be an update on my boob job because I have been getting so many questions and messages from people asking, how have you healed? Do you have any regrets? What's the update? So I'm finally getting around to doing that. It's about to be two years since I got my surgery, which is so crazy. But if you wanna know more about that, that video will be up already by the time you're watching this vlog, so. Can go check it out i'm just doing a little bit of light makeup same under eye concealer that you guys saw earlier in this vlog the tarte cc and then this is the essence pretty natural foundation just a light layer of that and i'm gonna do the nars radiant creamy concealer so i did end up getting that rare beauty blush in a darker shade this is in the shade grace it's definitely way more intense and pigmented so i'm just doing 
little dots of that. See how pigmented that is? It's insane. I really like this color though. The other one that I had was just a little bit too light for me right now. And then I got this Iconic London Liquid Illuminator. Saw this in Sephora and I had a coupon so I was like, eh, why not? I've really been into liquid products lately though because they just last so much longer. And then you don't have to worry about it like looking powdery or anything. And then I got this got to be brow gel. They make a hair gel and it just completely blew up and went viral and everybody was using it. I mean, it, it works really well for your hair too and like especially to smooth down like baby hairs and stuff, but everybody was using it for their brows, but it's just a pain because it's like this big bottle and you have to have a separate brow brush and everything. So now they made it in a little tube like this, which is so much more convenient and this stuff is amazing. I feel like every other brow gel that I have tried, drugstore, high-end, doesn't matter. The brow hairs just don't really stay in place all day long. Like they start to kind of fall over time. So if you want like that laminated spiky brow look, this is what you need. I don't like to do them too crazy, but just a little bit bushier makes them look a little bit thicker i got this on amazon i'll put a link in the description and then i'm gonna do some lip liner this is from nyx in the shade natural and then i got this because it was on sale at sephora the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. And I've gotten lip filler in the past, so I don't necessarily like need my lips to look any <laughs> fuller than they already are, but I've just, I don't know, I wanted to try this to see if it actually does anything. And I've already used it like three times now, I wanna say, and it actually works. And I think what I like about it, it creates like a really intense tingling sensation, and that's what makes them look fuller because it creates like irritation but that irritation gives your lips a really beautiful color obviously now i put lip liner on underneath so i don't know if you'll be able to tell but i've been using it on the days where i don't really wear any makeup and i'll just put the gloss on my lips with nothing else underneath and it just gives them like such a pretty color and it takes a little while like a minute or so I can feel it starting to tingle a little bit, but after about like a minute or two of it being on, it's like intense. It's not painful or anything, but it's like, oh, a strong tingling sensation. And it definitely makes them look fuller. You obviously have to reapply throughout the day as needed, but I am going to film my video really quick and then I'm gonna get dressed for work. So I will see you once I'm done filming and I'll show you what I'm wearing to work. Okay, I am ready to leave. Here's my outfit. This top is from H&M. So are the sandals and the skirt is from Target. I gotta head out now though. I am gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Ana Luisa and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.